It's been two months I don't update the tutorial on this channel, so I'm sorry many things happen at the time, so I never uploaded this video on those two months. Okay, here we are still discussing gym tutorial. Let's see the result here. Like this, we will make a landscape geometric reflection because this landscape is a mountain or a landscape. If a portrait, maybe in the title of this video will be different. But somehow I prefer in a landscape mode. To make this effect, we will use a circular, a rectangular, or other geometric shapes. You can see in the other geometric shape like this with a rectangular shape. Rectangular, circle, circle. Server. Here I don't add a 3D impression. In addition to this video title, there is a geometric world. Also appreciate the inventor of this effect. Thanks to Victoria Shimmer. When viewed in the gallery, he used blending color on the layer max. In this tutorial, we will not use uh, blending color on layer max. You must ask then what is used. I will not refer directly here, but later when the tutorial takes place. Okay. First, open your team and then open a image file. Open. Here I use um uh, forest uh, fog, fog forest open make sure your image has a portion of the sky approximately fifty percent like this or fog so that the results are more satisfying here we will use uh, the picture of mountain with forest with fog like this okay here I rename this layer to forest and then right click this layer and select uh, add alpha channel and then duplicate this forest layer and duplicate sorry duplicate and rename to um, forest masking okay right click on this layer i mean a uh, forest masking layer right click and add layer max and select white and click add and next we create a circle using uh, ellipse select tool or you can press P on the keyboard okay click this icon and then create a circle here like this with a size um, 450 and 440 450 for width and 400, 450 for height. To be centered, there are several steps that must be done. Actually, you can use uh, this uh, position. You can, you can see the position. because it needs to be a bit so difficult to count we use a alignment tool okay go to the path step and then click selection to path here i rename with the name um, circle path Okay. Click uh, select none to remove uh, the selection. Enable this circle path 
like this and then you can use this online main tool click this icon and then click uh, sorry this image and and then press and hold the shift key shift key and click uh, circle path okay like this and then click this icon to center okay you can click on move tool here I drag it up I mean a uh, circle path you can use a uh, move tool move tool like this and then click uh, this icon I mean here I move the this path okay click the circle path and then here I use the arrow on the keyboard to slide it up like this shift and up okay and the next disable this uh, circle pad mm, sorry uh, yeah disable uh, circle pad and click uh, pad to selection for convert this pad to selection this pad I mean circle pad to selection move to uh, layer step and then make sure you have selected the layer max instead of the main layer like this click uh, layer max not uh, main layer click this layer max like this and then uh, click the bucket fill tool and give a black color and click on this area for fill a black color okay click select none to remove the selection if i disable the layer below i mean a forest layer the result will be hollow like this Okay. And next, make sure you uh, select this forest layer, and then click uh, for to rotate. Click a uh, layer, transform, and select um, rotate 180 degrees. Okay. Here you can choose which part will be in the reflection. You can use a move tool and then you can drag like this. Hmm, sorry. You must click a move layer, click this icon, and you can drag like this. Okay. In order to form the circle as if together in the picture. Sorry. Okay. And like this. Click this uh, layer max, not main layer. Click uh, layer max. And then click uh, eraser tool and delete on this area. For opacity, we we give a number fifty, and you know, like 
the brush size like this and you can delete on this area okay like this sorry delete delete and delete finally we have created our landscape geometric reflection in gym after watching this video i am sure you can apply it with other geometric shapes I think that's enough for this tutorial video, sorry if I have something wrong with this video. If you are still confused, you can ask in the comment field below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.